Everyone, we're back at the home church. Let's pray, and then we're going to get started. Lord, I pray before you in the name of Jesus, with my mom, and Slime the Frog, and everyone. Please forgive us, Lord, of our sins. Keep all we will away. Use me to your glory. Let your Holy Spirit speak through me, Lord, to tell your people whatever you want me to say. And let us put our eyes on you, God. Let us give you our attention. Keep the devil away, Lord. And we thank you for your blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Slime going to join us. My friend, my son, my beautiful mom at the table. God is here. He's number one. Dad, he's always here in spirit. Even though we passed away last year. And the angels are here. So everyone, if I had to give today's message, mom, I think I'm going to call it, Don't cheat on God and don't cheat on your lover. Don't cheat. Oh, okay. <laughs> Make it strong, you know. Like, um, you know, whether people is in a relationship, you know, with, with their husband and wife or boyfriend and girlfriend. It's just good to be true and loyal, especially to God, you know. So this could be those type of messages, mom, to, okay. to encourage people, you know, to do the right thing, even when there's temptation and, and stuff. So it's, it's, we're going to have a good time in the Lord. Amen. Yep. It's about being honest with yourself and more importantly, um, staying true to, to the Lord, you know. Amen. Amen. To have integrity. Like when no one's behind, when no one's with you and you're behind closed doors, how are you going to act? You know, are, are you going to let your flesh get the best of you? No, the devil will speak through you and tell you to do this and that. Nope, you want to listen to God. So that's the point I'm making. Amen. Amen. And then we could all turn to St. Matthews, chapter 5. Like you can give me a high five. <laughs> Verse 33. And when you're there, say Amen. Man. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, and, and Matthew chapter 5, verse 33, it says, Again, ye have heard that it have been said by them of old time, Thou shalt not forswear thyself, but shall perform unto the Lord thine oaths. No, God don't want us to, like, um, make promises and stuff to them but you know to him but he wants us and if we do make promise to him he wants us to be true to keep our word you know the vows like when you get married God wants us huh, to be real mm -hmm. to do it and your feelings should not get involved you have to be the better person everyone you know and take it seriously don't just treat it like whatever okay but I say unto you, swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Neither shalt thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black. That's right. <laughs> but let your communication be yea, yea, nay, Nay, which means yes or no, huh? Mm -hmm. For whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. So if God has his way, and we should always give God his way, because he knows best, right, Mom? Yes. God don't want us to swear, you know, like, I swear to you. Don't say I swear on my mother's grave or none of that. All that is unnecessary. You know, just, just be honest. Be sincere. When you tell somebody you're going to do something, when you tell God you're going to pray to him, make time for him, you know, please do it. Don't say, God, I promise you before I go to bed, um, I'm, I'm going to read the Bible or I'm going to call someone that you want me to pray with. And then later on, you're playing video games or seeing a movie. You know, you get distracted. God wants you to be serious, uh, you know, be honest when you tell me you're going to do things. Same with your husband and wife, your boyfriend and girlfriend. You know, t when you tell them something, do it. Right, Mom? Yeah. Don't, don't make excuses, you know. And you don't need to swear. You don't need to promise. Just let it be, yes, I'm going to do this for you. Or no, I'm not going to do this for you. That's the point I'm trying to make. Yeah. You know, don't cheat on God, folks. Don't cheat on your spouse um, behind their... Well, you can't fool God. He knows everything. <laughs> he even knows what you're thinking. But, you know, but now when you tell someone you're going to do something and you don't do it, it looks bad. And when you're doing secret things that you shouldn't be doing, you know, the best thing to do is to get right. Because none of us are perfect. If you make a mistake, ask God to forgive you. And if you're about to be tempted in your mind with bad thoughts, and you're like, oh man, this is too much. 
part of you wants to do it, part of you don't want to do it. The best thing to do is say, Lord, help me. In Jesus' name, forgive me. Um, I want to do the right thing, God. I don't want to let you down. I want to be true to you. I want to be true to my girlfriend, uh, my wife, you know, whatever it is. My husband, my boyfriend. God knows your heart. So just um, hang in there. Don't give up. This is one of those messages, Mom, for everyone, you know, to encourage them to keep fighting the good fight. You know, uh, you know, you, you can do it. And God can give you the power. Yes. But you can't do it alone. No. Right? Exactly. <laughs> you, we mean well, and we still make mistakes. <laughs> but, um, Mom, do you have anything you want to say? You, oh, okay, you're good? Okay, thank you. I, I love you, Mom, and I always want to respect you. Thank you. You're welcome. So, uh, say with your slime. <laughs> I love you too. We love you. Um, keep smiling. You encourage us to smile for God. And, you know, to be happy. Because God's been, God been good to us, huh? Yes, the Lord's been good. So, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, um, we don't... And this says here, Mama, and everybody, it says in verse 38, I'm almost, I won't be before you long. Ye have heard that it had been said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you that ye resist not evil. You don't have to fight against evil. But whosoever shall smite thee on that right cheek, turn to him the other cheek. Turn to him the other also. And, and if a, any man will sue thee at the law. You know what? That, 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 those are good things in the Bible too. But I think God just mostly wants me to keep, you know, to stick with what we already covered. So no one gets confused. Just be true to God. Be true to your boyfriend and girlfriend, your husband and wife. Uh, please don't cheat on them. Please don't secretly get with someone else. Um, I know this, you know, especially the young folks out there. It's, it's easy, you know, to um, get with someone else. How about boyfriend number one, boyfriend number two, boyfriend, you know, you know what I mean, mom? A girlfriend number two. Mm -hmm. If you're married, have someone on the side okay. that your spouse don't know about. But none of that is good. The Bible's against that. And God wants us to be true. Keep those promises you made, the vows you made. Before the Lord for better or for worse, right? Mm -hmm. Through sickness, through, you know, if they're sick or not. Uh, if you're about to get married or you're thinking about marriage, like me and my girlfriend Christina, we're praying about it and we're living in the God's hands. We want His future. You know, he, we want Him to be with us. So I um, hope this makes everyone out there like, okay, I'm going to do the right thing. You know, it's your choice, people. It's your choice. And even if you say, well, no one knows what I'm doing. You know, why can't I have fun? You know, my girlfriend, my wife, my husband, my boyfriend, sometimes, you know, they don't hold my hand. They don't kiss me. They don't make time for me. Blah, blah, blah. God don't want to hear excuses. He wants you to be true. He wants you to be real. He wants you to still love them. He wants you to forgive them. He wants you to have patience. God don't like divorce, right? So, except if someone cheated on you or something like that, that's different, you know. If, if someone abandoned you or they did something that they shouldn't have done, God knows. He's the only one that can judge. But I love you people, and God loves you more. And hope you have a good night. And that's just the point I want to make. Please don't cheat on God, because he knows everything. So you might as well get right with him. <laughs> and please don't cheat on your spouse, on your lover, on your boyfriend, your girlfriend, husband and wife. Thank you for your time. Oh, Mom, before I end it, um, you're fine? The Lord not put nothing on your spirit? Mm, no. Okay, I know sometimes you might, you know, but uh, you're always free. Thank you. And hope everyone has a good night. And uh, just be, keep doing the right thing, folks, and you're going to be fine. Take care.